in welcome back to the channel on this video I want to discuss uh, seed height and what is the ideal seat height for your e-bike honestly uh, myself I don't think there's such thing as an ideal like a standard seat height I mean we're all obviously different heights and we all have different uh, personal preferences as to how high we want our seat and uh, so I don't think I think it just depends on uh, our personal preference and for me I uh, as kids we were always told that the ideal or the standard for a traditional bike was to have your feet flat on the ground and you know I still kind of go for, by that for myself I kind of like that and use that as my measuring stick and some bikes like I'm riding right now the Rad Rover I'm in pedal assist 3 my favorite uh, level but anyway some bikes like uh, like the Rad Rover like a mountain bike or a cruiser style bike we'll use as an example they have adjustable seats right like this one has an adjustable seat I just have to pull the lever adjust the seat up or down to uh, whatever I like and then uh, snap it back in the uh, lever put it back down into place it locks in and that's it whereas my other bike the aerial rider grizzly is a moped style bike scrambler and that bike you cannot adjust the seat because it's just one height right so uh, that one luckily for me my feet are flat on the ground and that seat height on that bike is about 32 inches but since I changed out the tires and put new tires on there I've got the E Huntsman uh, V Moto tires on there now it's actually a little taller the bike now so it sits about 32 and a half to 33 inches um, so my feet barely like they just touch the ground I'm, I'm able to go flat on the ground and the reason why I like I like the uh, my feet to be flat on the ground is I like to have control so you know I don't have to lean one way or the other hello and uh, so I, I just feel like I'm in more control if something should happen with being able to have both feet on the ground uh, flat uh, same thing with this bike here the Rad Rover I have it adjusted to my uh, preference for seat height which is uh, feet touching the ground flat hello and uh, but I know uh, some folks out there like their seat extremely high I've seen some bikes that have the seat like way up now they could very well be six foot five you know I'm five foot nine so um, but they could be tall or they just like to stretch their legs more for me I don't have an issue with pedaling either this bike or the Grizzly like in that way and um, if I was a guy that was uh, six inches taller you know six three or so I think I would probably then maybe have an issue with the Grizzly but with this bike I can raise the seat I'm not sure how high you can raise it up like how tall because I've never risen up that high because I don't want to ride it that high. it's up a little bit from the uh, bottom but not a lot I don't have it too much up off the uh, lowest it can go um, but some people just you know their preference to pedal is they, they have to have their legs stretching uh, pretty good you know whereas for me it's a good height 
um, by having it where my feet touch the ground flat. Like I'm pedaling now and I feel perfectly comfortable uh, pedaling along. Same with the Grizzly. Now the Grizzly comes with that little bit longer seat so you can kind of scoot back a little bit more but um, you can buy an extended uh, longer seat which a lot of uh, a lot of folks have done and that would help you too in uh, being able to uh, ride if you're taller and be able to pedal but I mean there's also some folks that just don't pedal at all right they're just throttle only so uh, it wouldn't you wouldn't care about pedaling part you just want to adjust the seat to whatever you're comfortable riding with. but I just like mine to be where I can uh, feel like I have control when when I come to a stop or whichever you know I I can uh, set my feet flat on the ground but you know there are times when I still lean the bike especially the Grizzly a little bit over to one side um, when I'm at a stop the other thing about um, all of this could be too that if you are riding a heavier bike um, for me anyway the Grizzly is definitely heavier it's about 40 pounds or a little more than 40 pounds heavier than this uh, rad this rad is about 68 pounds and the uh, Grizzly is, it comes in at uh, uh, 105, but with the new tires I've got on there, it's about 110 now. So that's quite a bit of weight difference. I certainly can tell the difference. Um, but most bikes, if you're buying uh, the non-moped style, are adjustable, right? It's, uh, for the most part, you can adjust the seat to whatever height you want. But the moped style, it can be an issue. So on average, I think the average uh, of those style bikes, seat height average is about 32 inches. And that's what the Grizzly is. And I've seen some 31. I believe the Graffiti is 31. And some of them are up to 35. I think I've even seen one, and I can't remember now, I just kind of just remember seeing a measurement of 36 inches. Now that's pretty, t pretty tall. I don't know if I... That might deter me from buying the bike just for the fact that that's way too tall for me. Like that, that's four inches more than the Grizzly. That'd be a lot. But most of them, like I say, are around 32 or, or, or right in there, 30, 32 and a half. I think the, uh, the new Rev 1 from Rip 1 up, I believe that one's 32 and a half. So 32 and a half would be okay. I could, I could go with that one. But if it gets up too high, you just, uh, and I feel bad for, uh, women because generally women are shorter than men and it's hard to find a bike that your height yeah you can get the step through but the step through you get on the bike but if you're on the bike and you're you know you, you don't want to hop off all the time at a stop or anything so I think um, I don't know some some of those steps through maybe the seat goes down really low uh, like lower than you know I don't know how many inches but um, the seat I know I know a lot of people have complained about uh, the pedaling and that's understandable because we're all different heights and and uh, yep so anyway uh, that's the uh, talk on the pedal pedaling and the seat height but that's going to do it for this video and if you'd like to make a comment on uh, uh, seat height or any other uh, comments on the videos here on the channel just go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button and if you'd like to subscribe hit that subscribe button and also if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified
And don't forget to check out some of the other videos on the channel. We have lots of uh, videos there uh, since we started the channel back on July the 4th. So once again, thank you for joining me today. And until next time. Take care.